Hello, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to show you my Marks and Spencer's grocery haul. So this is a rather large grocery haul. It's a few little Easter bits and then lots of fresh stuff and also some deals. So I'll just take you through what I've brought and then tell you how I'm going to use it. And then I'll tell you the price at the end. This was quite an expensive one, but it is a bit of a big haul. Um, so I got this sauce for, because I bought some pasta from Mark's, we thought we would try this sauce this time. So it's just tomato and mascarpone pasta sauce. This was £2 um, and it's just going to go with our pasta, which we brought. It's not the biggest uh, sauce part, but it's going to be absolutely fine for the two of us. And you can freeze it if there's any excess. We can put this in the freezer, which I don't think there will be. I think we'll use this one all up. I also brought some orange juice, just the smooth M&S orange juice. I think it was like 140. And then I did get some semi-skimmed milk, just the green top. We just have four pints in this house and that seems to last us. Um, okay, so I've got a slight obsession with uh, hot cross buns. I'm well aware that the season for hot cross buns is about to end. So I thought I would just do a bit of a stock up and I went a bit wild <laughs> in the hot cross bun aisle um i picked up six packets and the reason is is because you can freeze them so these can be popped straight in the freezer and i can obviously pull them out as the weeks go on so i got four packets of the blueberry hot cross buns um these are so nice they are two for three pound so you get eight for three pound they are absolutely delicious the blueberry ones so i'm going to put all of these in the freezer because i do have have a packet left over which I can have this week in the cupboard so they're all going to be frozen and then to go alongside the blueberry ones because the blueberry ones will last me like probably for the next four weeks maybe like a pack a week something like that because they're delicious but to go alongside that I did decide to get some cheese ones as well to pop in the freezer for like the weekend my me and my hubby like them with a bit of bacon on um, and they're really tasty like similar to a bagel or a, a tea cake uh, which we would usually have at the weekend so I thought I would get some of these and again you can freeze them and then I'll pull them out like every weekend over the next couple of weeks um, because again you can freeze these but they are so tasty and next week after Easter's finished I'm going to be really sad if these come off the shelf so I might even get a couple more and like just get them in the freezer stocked up <laughs> ready for next year <laughs> for them to come back in stock they are so tasty so I picked up six packets of the hot cross buns three two packets for three pound um I also did a bit of a deal on like the meal thing that they do. So they do like a dining, uh, two pizzas, two sides for £10. I've never tried this before. It's a fully loaded cheeseburger stone baked pizza, which I thought sounded a bit different. I thought we would give that a go. So you get two pizzas and two sides for a tenner, which I think is a really good price for Marks. I know that supermarkets do this as well as to Tesco Sainsbury's. They all do like pizza deals. Um, so I like that. Marks is doing it for the same price because it's always good quality there so we got the cheeseburger one and we also got the posh dog which is just sliced sausage like sliced hot dog um so we got the fully loaded posh dog stone baked pizza as well 12 inch pizzas one pizza will do us for a dinner with a side and we're going to have some salad i've already brought some salad for this so that's two meals there we probably won't get around to using on both this week so one could go in the freezer as well the sides that I picked up with these pizza deals were these. So again, you can freeze them. But I got chicken munches, which is just like little chicken bits coated in like a breadcrumb. And then some halloumi fries. So there are our two sides and our two pizzas for £10. And I really think that is a good deal from there. So I did pick up those. I also picked up some Red Leicester. I just needed one small block for the rest of the week. So I got one block of Red Leicester. And then we wanted to do pies for dinner one day this week. So I picked up individual pies. A creamy chicken short crust pastry pie. And then a steak top crust puff pie. I'm going to have the steak. My hubby's going to have the chicken. I've got frozen veg and I've got some mash that I put in the freezer that I didn't get around to using. So we'll have pie and mash with some veggies with a bit of gravy for one dinner this week. So I got two pies, which I've never had from there before. So I'm excited to try them. Um, my hubby wanted some of this. This is just the hand-finished white cob. It's already sliced. He wanted this for work. I'm actually off this week, so I've not really brought stuff for like lunches while I'm working, but he 
has to go to work so he got some bread for that I did pick up some watercress for uh, me for salads this week, just one bag. And then I did get this pasta to go with the pasta sauce. This is the ham and cheese tortellini that I mentioned earlier. I also got some strawberries. These look so good um, and they smell really fresh as well. So I picked up a punnet of strawberries. I got some Sereno ham crisps because my hubby likes to take them to work. He sprinkles them on salads. And then I did get some of this mange too, just to add to one of our dinners this week as well. I'll probably just pop this in the freezer just so that it remains fresh and then get it out when I want to use it. Um, I'm seeing my granddad this weekend for Easter. I'm going to go and see him. So because I live quite far now away, I don't see him that often. So I thought I would take him some treats. So I did get some hot cross buns for him to try different flavours. And then I also picked up these mini Easter cupcakes. Two of them have fallen over. But you get carrot and a bunny and a chick. And I thought they were super cute. They were £4 for nine, which is quite expensive. But they are like Easter cupcakes. So it's a nice little treat to have. So I got those for him. And then my hubby wanted a lemon muffin and I got a chocolate Easter yum nut it was absolutely delicious I ate this like the day I did the shopping I'm doing the voice over the next day um the yum nut was so tasty <laughs> I also got some more of these lightly salted pita chips I did see today uh, yesterday sorry that they do um like a sweet I think it's a sweet chili one they do like a different flavor one now I'm a pretty much a calmer kind of girl like even like pepper in the KFC chicken is too spicy for me. I'm not really into like spicy foods for my palate. Like, you know, I'm kind of just the salt and tomato ketchup. <laughs> and caught a chicken corn where I can handle the heat of that um so anything like that is flavored with crisp rice I wouldn't be able to have but the lightly salted pita chips are delicious and I think my hubby is probably going to try these I think it's sweet chili ones they do as well so I just picked up a bag of the pita chips like salted ones for now for us and then we did see these which we thought we would get just the prawn and cocktail shells I also got some more of this couscous because I bought this last week and it was so tasty. This is just the Moroccan style couscous. And then this was new. I thought I would try this this week with me. So it's just a British potato pea and mint salad. I thought I would have that for dinner one day this week when my hubby's uh, away at football. It sounded absolutely delicious and I've got some ham hock so I might pop it with that. But that sounded so tasty. I also picked up some baby cucumbers. I love baby cucumbers from Lidl and I found them in Marks. So I got some of those to snack on this week. And then I didn't really get too much like salad -y bits or fruit. I did get some orange melon, which we had last week and we loved. I got some more prosciutto, two packs of that. And then we got these scotch eggs, which we had a few months ago and my hubby loved them. You just put them in the oven, bake them and then they come out like really runny and tasty delicious so we got some for him this week I also picked up this broccoli just needed one broccoli this week to add to my frozen veg I did get a cucumber back there and then I again in terms of like uh, fruit I didn't go too crazy like we've got apples and bananas in so I did pick up these nectarines I thought these looked so good I've already had one yesterday and they were absolutely delicious so juicy so I've got some nectarines I did get this tomato salad to go with the pizza that we're going to share for dinner one day this week and and then I also got some grapes. I love the Tutti Frutti grapes. They are absolutely amazing. So I picked up another punnet of those. And then as as well as uh, the Tutti Frutti grapes, oh, I did get some cherry tomatoes as well. I got these grapes. Look at the size of them. They are like golf balls. Like, oh my goodness, what on earth has Marks and Spencer's been feeding their grapes? They are absolutely humongous. And I've tried some already yesterday and they are so tasty, really crunchy and delicious. I also got some baby beetroot you, they come in little like balls they're really tasty to add to salads I've got some watercress and some rocket so I'll do a bit of a ham hock salad with that and then this is my ham hock it was three for seven so I picked up two packets of that and then a packet of the chicken like barbecue chicken slices on the deal I did get this big punnet of raspberries. I've eaten most of them already today. They are so tasty, really, really fresh and nice. So we did pick up those. And then I wanted to try like these. I found these in the crisp aisle. Um, I haven't had them before either. They are prosciutto and formaggio. I'm so sorry I've said that wrong. Basically just like ham and cheese crisps from the M&S food collection. But they are so nice. The flavour was absolutely amazing today for lunch. They are 
really tasty. So I'm glad that we found those to try as well. So that brings an end to my Marks and Spencers haul of all the items that I picked up this week for us. There isn't really too many meals here as such because I have chicken and meat, beef mints in the freezer. I have a bit, I think a bit of fish and then I've got some like fries left over um, and like potato -y, like waffly type things as well in the freezer to use up so not too many like dinners needed this week really um so this is just all the fresh stuff to add to the meals and then the cupboard stuff this came to a hundred pound i saved on the pizza deal i saved on the like prepared meat deal um so i did i think i did okay at marks i got quite a bit here for a hundred pound um but yeah it came to a hundred pound and i think i saved 11 pound in total so it should have been 111 but that is my weekly food shop i hope that you enjoyed seeing what i brought this week thanks so much for watching supporting liking um, and enjoying the videos i really appreciate it i hope that you have a lovely rest of the week whatever you're up to take care and i will see you on the next video bye